Now here is the part two of what may transpire if the courts refuse to give a fair judgment. Now it's going to be a destruction of Nigerian judicial system. You know we started from part one yesterday, which which is potential breakup of Nigeria if, of course, the tribunal fails to give a fair judgment. Now the other one is going to be. Uh, destruction of Nigerian judicial system if the court, the tribunal, fails to give the right judgment. Now, the destruction of the sanity sanctity of the court and, by extension, entire Nigerian judicial system may be fully activated should there be a judgment by the five justices of the presidential election petition tribunal handling the presidential election petition case. A lot of Nigerians have lost hope in the executive and legislative arm of the government of Nigeria. Over the years, Nigerians have continuously witnessed the executive arm of the government in Tamingo with massive corruption and repeatedly demonstrated failure to deliver on several performance indicators for any government interested in the national development in both human and infrastructure index. <clears throat> The humongous emolument of the Nigerian legislature coupled with their failure to put the executive to tax on their duties has made many also lose hope in the Nigerian legislative arm of government too. The same also applied to the Nigerian judiciary as a result of some scandalous judgment that has emanated from Nigerians supposedly hallowed chambers in recent times. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, remains one of the few, if not the only reason why some Nigerians who voted or participated in the last general election still have some sort of hope in the Nigerian judicial system ability to carry out its duties without fear or favor. A lot of the obedience, those who support Peter Obi, believe in Peter Obi and have trust in his pronouncement. Hence, <clears throat> due to his insistence on his belief in the Nigerian judicial, judiciary to pronounce not only judgment but also justice. Many are prepared to wait on the judicial to prove Peter will be conviction in the ability to do what is right. The Nigerian judicial system is more or less on the last credibility test card. The judgment must be avoided to avoid a situation where Nigeria may be reduced to an environment where the majority will begin to resort to self-help instead of approaching the law court to seek redress over any situation that requires a third party intervention in setting a dispute. See, very simple. You see, this explanation is one of the best. P2B is the only reason why some people still believe in the judiciary, why some people still believe that Nigeria can still work. You see, it will be very dangerous if in any way that in any way that this man they rule him out of the court thereby giving an unfair judgment you will see when someone gets easily provoked the people will start taking laws into their hand because once a country does not abide by their own law People are going to lose hope. But, but see, recently now, people have started losing hope in the Nigerian police. Because when you go to the police to help you, they first of all charge you money to help you. Job that you have to do on their own, they have to extort you first. And when they come, they won't get the job done. So people are now taking laws into their hand. That is why you see people, when you provoke them, they go and gather boys or get the military or army man to come and settle it. Because they are, this is, this is a, these are symptoms of people losing hope. In the Nigerian law and it will be more dangerous where we now have a country that has law but people don't believe in the law therefore people can fall into any kind of means to get justice and that is what we are trying to avoid for some of you and most of you that are clapping for this illegality this corruption called government you don't know the consequences you really don't know the consequences now, number two of the part two is the 
the secretion of the Nigerian Constitution. The secretion of the Nigerian Constitution. Now, a very close related danger to the one discussed above is concerned with implication of carrying out a misjudgment that could possibly lead to total dis disencryption of the Nigerian Constitution by the very arm of government that is supposed to protect it and maintain its sanity by way of its responsibility as the interpreter of the Constitution. To avoid any misconception, the presidential election petition tribunal upholding of the current INEX elected president will amount to not only destroying but in actual fact bearing Nigerian's constitution. The constitution is very clear on the eligibility of who can or cannot be president of Nigeria. The electoral law also clearly states the condition required to win a presidential election. In a lot of Nigeria, the constitutional requirement to become a president will have to be totally broken and discarded completely for the fraudulent declaration by INEC of a winner of the presidential election results on 1st of March 2023 by 4 o'clock a.m. to be valid. So, the Nigerian constitution, just like I said, will be very useless. Very, very useless because the desecration will will become more, you know, proactive. Are you understanding? The, 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 the constitution will now be a water law, which will become a danger to Nigeria. And number three is possible of coup de tête. Coup de tête, yes, a very significant and serious danger that can result from the miscarriage of justice. On my judgment in the possibility of coup de tête. There are many conditions that often come together to precipitate a military takeover of power in any country, including in Africa. Aside from economic or insecurity issue, another major factor that is often connected or can lead to the removal of a democratically elected government is the breakdown or perceived breakdown of proper enforcement or enforceability of fair law and order which is usually based on a very formidable judicial system. May judgment by the judiciary by implication is a subtle direct invitation to military government. It should be of a serious concern to the Nigerian judiciary given the current wave of military junta's troubling of what they deemed non-performing democratic government across West Africa. Let's be guided. Now this is where I'm going to stop for part two and I'm going to bring part three. But see, whatever the case may be, we must understand that the only time that the military will want to invade a country or take over from a democratic, democratically elected president is, is when that president is not following the law. And we have seen it several times that these people aren't following the law. For some of you who think that is not possible in Nigeria, let's watch how it unfolds itself. Thanks for supporting the future news and I believe you enjoy our video. Peace.